Hello Aries, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is a spiritual advice reading for the first week of August of 2021. For whichever Aries spirit is wanting to reach out to most. So if you've been guided to this reading, there's probably most likely a message here that you're going to identify. And that means spirits trying to help to guide you at this time in your life path journey. So, whoops. All right. We have communication being very important with the Page of Cups energies. This is uh, kind words and messages. Uh, when we're feeling down and out, uh, it is time to reach out and give kind words and messages to others. So, too, you can receive these blessings in return tenfold. We are in the energy of the new moon of Leo. So it's time to get excited once again. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, with the gateway to the divine tarot deck, please provide whichever Aries I am reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Aries with clearly defined messages regarding the first week of August of 2021. So in these spiritual guidance readings, I'm just going to quick go through without explaining the cards too much, uh, the message that spirit wants to uh, relay. Okay, and um, these messages can be very helpful if you take a pen and paper and you write down what it is you are hearing during this reading. And then at the end, um, you know, take a look at the, what you wrote down. For that's where spirit's trying to guide you. So I relate the messages to you. You in turn take them within and lay them out in front of you so that you can clearly understand from your own spiritual perspective. Now we've got the six of coins. Okay, here I go right into explaining the cards. We have an Aries here who is waiting for someone to make an offer of sorts, maybe a raise. Uh, if this is in relation to another, it's just trying to find some form of balance here. So personally or professionally, spirit is wanting to say uh, an offer or opportunity uh, will come. Um, yeah, I am definitely feeling someone trying to figure out if there was some form of balance connection here. And with the six cups energies in the thoughts position, we have uh, someone who is thinking of the past, uh, thinking of their childhood, uh, thinking of uh, a playful opportunity or connection here. Is this a balanced connection or not during the first week of August of 2021? Now, for some Aries, you may have an older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in the relationship sectors coming in uh, to make an offer of money and abundance and or uh, to see if a balance, if a, if a connection once again is balanced here. But you're in a state here of... Uh, uh, nostalgia okay so in the at, uh, creative aspects position we have the hermit energy um wanting to or needing to take action to create some quiet time here to find balance when it comes to something tied to the past and maybe an older air sign in the relationship sector to now think about all that you have learned up to this point and to now uh plan a journey ahead of you whereby you can make your wishes come true. So spirit saying your actions position as you continue to work for, communicate with, observe some form of balance here within. You will have the time to eventually create what it is that fulfills you emotionally. So spirit saying, what is it at this time, Aries, that you're wanting to do? Where is it you're wanting to go towards or who uh, to work with? to see if there's a balanced connection or an offer of money. Okay, so there's a few messages I'm getting already for a few different Aries. In the emotional aspects position, we have the major arcana, the empress. So we've now got two major arcanas. Okay, this is when spirit's stepping in with the hermit energy to help you to create some quiet time to observe a situation, circumstance or situation, so that you can uh, find clarity before taking action to move forward. But I feel like there are many at the beginning of the second week of August, uh, Aries, who are going from some nostalgic energy into the direction of a new path, right? It's time to get passionate and excited about making my wishes come true. 
do I do you want to offer money to someone? Is someone going to make an offer to you? Is there a balanced connection? For some, you may be thinking about someone tied to your past and you're wanting to maybe connect, but you're unsure here. So again, spirit saying, create something that fulfills you personally in an emotional way. Uh, give birth to something in the emotional aspects position with the empress because we're going to help for you to give birth to a balanced circumstance or situation where there will be equal give and take. So in the subconscious position of the circle spread, we have the star card. So we have a major arcana once again. Uh, so big things happening by the second week of August of 2021. Uh, someone here is thinking about with the star card as a major arcana, also representing uh, the uh, king of air here. Someone may be thinking about uh, someone who has Aquarius in their chart. Uh, looking at a situation where someone's making some form of offer here, or if you can finally go away from what was and move into the direction of giving birth now to what it is that truly fulfills you. So there's a letting go here, right? Watching and recognizing subconsciously that the past is this old dilapidated building and you have risen and now can make new wishes come true and give birth to greater fulfillment through your actions at this time. Moving on. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, talk about moving on, right? With the Six of Swords energies, this is Spirit's way of saying it's time to leave troubled waters behind. Amen. Something tied to the past. So you can give birth to new wishes. For Spirit in your inner strengths position is giving you the strength of the strength card. So another major arcana. One, two, three, four major arcanas and a nine card spread. So remember, Spirit's giving you extra strength here to go into the direction of doing what it is you like to do financially, creatively with the Six of Coins energies, coming to, into connection with like-minded people, marketing a product, giving birth to something new is the process. These new wishes that Spirit wants to help you make come true in your subconscious position is giving you the strength to move beyond old difficulties with the Six of Swords energies and move into the energy of greater strength. I now have the strength to give birth to something that will fulfill me as I go away from what was or who was during the first week of August of 2021. So in a three card spread to my left, we've got the first couple cards in the first position of the three card spread. Okay, this is the uh, Ace of Cups, a brand new path in the area of love and or an overflowing path of peace, joy and happiness. Um, so spirit's wanting you to really go with the flow here and move into a better direction, a more fulfilling path. But we do have an Aries here who's got the Queen of Swords energies where they're kind of um, holding up their sword uh, in a defense mode, almost Aries. So yeah, there is an offer that this Aries is thinking about some form of kind words and messages with the Page of Cups energies and the Four of Cups. Is this really a true kind, fulfilling message? So spirit saying, get into the Queen of Cups energies where you can listen to your intuition, where you can uh, receive downloads, right, in the form of your intuition from spirit as to uh, what it is that you want to work towards here creatively and financially. Yeah, because there could be a shocking realization here that someone has now sat down in the Queen of Pentacles throne and you now have beautiful surroundings, um, plenty of money in your bank account. Can, you're content, stable, and secure. Uh, you can now cut away from uh, unhealthy energy, thoughts, feelings, worries, fears with the Knight of Swords energies and with the Three of Cups energy. Step into a path of celebration, right? What you've been waiting for with the Knight of Coins energies, which is a slow moving energy, is for you to step into the spotlight. So we do have an Aries here who is recognizing that it's time to step into the spotlight, that an offer is coming. And it's like this Aries is trying to think about, should I walk away now into the path of a new beginning? Look at this. So during the week, the first week of August of 2021, we have an Aries here with another major arcana, the Fool. So when this communication comes in regarding money and or a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Spirit is going to give you that beautiful nudge 
to definitely move into the path of a new direction, right? Because as you get passionate and excited about how you're going to make new emotional wishes come true in your personal life, you can free yourself from the heartache of who and or what was. So that you can now give birth to, through your efforts, right? Cause and effect. Time and effort day to day will help you to leave a path behind and manifest wishes coming true. Uh, so putting your gift, your talent, your skill, your product out into the world and recognizing the money that comes from that. Look at this. We got uh, the Ace of Swords, a brand new path. Swords sometimes to me represent a business. Uh, this is about recognizing who and or what no longer serves you and cutting away from that so that you can step into this major arcana. So we got the world card, realizing things have gone full circle. Therefore, I need to give thanks to the beautiful blessings with the Ten of Cups energies that I have and uh, no longer carry energies of sly cunning or manipulative behavior of oneself or another. Okay. So by the end of the week, of the first week of August, we have someone here who's recognizing, right, that your effort with the Three of Wands energies is now bringing your ship in. That your actions in the actions position with the Nine of Cups energies have led you to a, a energy of a happily ever after. And here you are researching, should I or should I not give birth to this offer, this opportunity? Doing something maybe that brings me very playful energy or that I wanted to always do as a child or I like to do as a child. Look at this. With the Six of Wands energies, we have recognition and attention. With the Two of Wands energies, the realization that it's time to come into commitment, partnership, or contract. In the area of finance and career, especially if you're conflicted, keep going. Because Spirit, I just saw the Chariot and the Nine of Pentacles energies is guiding you to give birth to a path of great success in your life. To make new wishes come true that most importantly via your actions are going to fulfill you emotionally. So if an offer comes, the Nine of Cups energies is also about saying yes. So in the actions position, you have the strength to accept an offer and say yes. And then here you are emotionally, oh, not emotionally, with the Empress energy. Um, at the beginning of the second week of August, Aries, recognizing I'm now giving birth to something that really fulfills my inner child. And this process, of course, is not only helping me to go away from a path that was long and difficult, but to move into the energies of great strength and give birth to joy in my life once again. What a beautiful reading. So should these messages have resonated for you and you would like some spiritual guidance here so spirit can help give you a little more information, I am offering four one half hour video readings, personal readings. Um, they are a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you so much to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, and to those of you who follow up those readings with an email, letting me know exactly how these messages resonated and help to guide you into a higher, better path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who've continued to donate to keep this channel up and running. Take care. And God bless.